The Goldsmith Maid is in, standing by here with the wooden connections of a senior Rita Rita owner, Ken Jacobs, driver Scott Zeron. Ken, this filly has just been exceptional for you guys all season. Talk to us about uh, how you picked her out. Well, uh, I usually do a lot of homework and uh, x-ray the horses and then uh, do my due diligence on the confirmation. And she was just beautiful. So I really wanted to get her. And uh, they pushed me a little bit on the price. <laughs> But uh, that's okay. I figured we're, we're even now. <laughs> yes, I think that turns into a bargain at this point. Now, after she debuted in July, she missed a bit of time. What happened there? Uh, she, uh, I kind of went soft on her, let her get her uh, feet underneath her, and then brought her back slow because we were looking for these races because I didn't want to go in the, uh, down in uh, you know, the Breeders' Crown and all that. So I say, let's pick the later races, and we'll, we'll get our piece of, of there. And that's what we did. It helps having, a, helps having a fresh filly this time of year. Yes, it is. She's only got seven, eight races now, and they all have 12 and 14, and it's, it's nice to have a, a fresh filly in this time of the year. So. And talk to us about her name. Her name is uh, Senorita Rita, and I named her after my wife, who I waved to her in the winner's circle, and I have to do it every time we win a race. So. And Scott brought her along super. He didn't push her. He, he just said she's going to be a very good filly. So I give all the credit to him and Linda. So And that'll keep you in good graces for a while, too, naming her after your wife, and she's yes. been a talented yes. filly. Scott, she seems to be getting better and better lifetime uh, best here tonight. Uh, is that the case? Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, we did take our time with her. Kenny did a good job of, of being reserved with her. We went to Kentucky, went in a soft overnight, just all learning steps for it to build up to races like this. So having a fresh horse at the end of the year, it, to me, it's a much easier job on me and my horse, so uh, it worked out well. And you, you flew in to, uh, to driver that night at that overnight uh, that was just on a non-stakes card. That uh, was uh, eye-catching, so you had to have confidence as well. Yeah, I felt like every time I drove her, I, I felt like we'd never come close to her bottom. And, uh, yeah, I had to fly all the way to Kentucky for one small overnight and then go back home. But I knew it was worth its while, and obviously it proved till tonight. Yeah, but that's $10,000 price. There's, oh, there's, there's nothing wrong with spending time in Lexington. And Scott, talk to us about the race tonight. Sister Sledge, she got away there uh, turning for home on the front end. Did you have confidence that you could catch her through the stretch? She got a great jump on me in that three-quarter pole, and uh, it felt like a little bit of insurmountable deficit to make up. But when I straightened up and my filly corrected, I pulled the plugs, and she just she went into orbit. And it was just a matter of where's that wire? Because <laughs> I had to maintain her speed. As long as I did that, I thought I'd get up. And I'm sure you're confident uh, in this filly's ability to come back at the age of three as well. Yes, we are. We're. Uh, we, 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 she's had enough races, and she's going to get a little rest, and we'll bring her back back in January, February. Best of luck, guys. Great seeing Senior Rita, Rita in action again tonight. Uh, we'll sit it back upstairs, Ken.